Hello, this is Rainbow Rising Freedom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You are now holding the whip they used to beat you with. There's a massive turnaround and you have reclaimed your power. You have the strength and blessings of David. Whatever you have lost, you have getting it back. You are bouncing back. And there is a whisper around your name, like Princess Diana said in one of her interviews. Your power is scary. And some may wonder, why is she strong? Where is she getting that strength from? And how is she going to use it? You are now in power to take revenge, will you? You are holding the whip they used to beat you with. You can retaliate. You have the spiritual prowess to do that. The power is in your hands. What will it be? The so-called they have already heard themselves enough. But there is no judgment. You have the right to go for what's yours and do it however you want to do it. If you choose kindness, I command you. If you choose to take revenge, I'm not the one to judge you because I did not go for your pain. The puppet master has been dethroned and you're no longer one of their puppets. You are in power to live however you want to live regardless of other people's wishes upon your existence and so-called destiny. You choose and create your path. You don't have to follow, you can. You don't have to follow signs and synchronicities you can create, you can paint whatever picture you wanna paint and the synchronicities will be born from you, from that decision of creation. Whatever you want to give birth to will manifest. This is your key and you got it back from whoever wanted to steal it. Spiritual theft, the theft of the code of your reality has been retrieved. You get it back. You code it back however you want it. And the immensity of your power is so precious that yes, you have been a target. unstoppable the ones who try to copy your manifestation technique will fail because it comes from your heart it comes from your capacity to love and anyone who tries to manifest like you do without having that capacity to love in the first place will fail. They might want to be around you to tap into that frequency, but this is just a temporary effect. 
pre 69 and the clarity of the mirror how you have bravely looked into every corner of yourself so-called good and so-called bad they now dance together and there's one more aspect integrating right now before you fully embrace what is yours what have always been yours and that's you someone tried to hijack you from you And what you anchor with your power and your love and your capacity to manifest from that pure love, it's incredibly precious. So keep going, keep living, keep manifesting miracles as you are. Just by being here on this planet and manifesting from joy, pure joy, living your life despite what you went through, is a miracle within itself and you are being seen you are being admired loved and held by the mother you are holding the whip they've been beating you with a massive turnaround. Nothing, no one, whatever that was, can touch you no more. Because you decide to be brave and because you decide to be free. And those who are still caged within their beliefs, within their limitations, will need you will need to be in touch with you when you're in your place of freedom. So that's another mission you might feel called to embark on. The mission of being that light for the ones who are still in energetic prisons. You might be their light and there's many ways you can connect and support these people. You can reach out to many people from many means right now, nowadays. Thanks to internet and technology, you can reach out to people in the furthest corners of the globe and still feel like you're in the same room with them and they can benefit from your light. So once you embody, bravely embody your freedom you are the beacon of light that will be needed and do take initiative to be there for the ones who maybe can't give back at the moment that's your duty as the being of light to not abandon the ones that are behind you And I don't know about you, but I'm throwing away the whip so that no one takes revenge on anyone ever again.